As we know, Amazon Marketplace is a very dynamic place. What worked a year ago or even a month ago might not work today. Same can be said with Amazon PPC. Those keywords that was making you money might not be making the same money today, but it doesn't have to be this way. In this video, I will show you how to dig into your past Amazon PPC data, find keywords that was converting in the past and create what we call a Amazon revive campaign. So if you're looking to revive some of your lagging Amazon PPC sales, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest Amazon FBA news, tips and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. If you ever look into your Amazon PPC campaign that is performing poorly recently, a lot of times it could be attributed to money keywords that are no longer performing. When I say money keywords, those are the key keywords that converted you to the sales in the past. There can be a lot of different reasons of why these money keywords that performed in the past are not performing right now, such as the cost per click has gone up for these keywords as more competition pile in, or the keywords has been over-optimized with the supposed AI tools that has proliferated in the Amazon PPC market. So let's get back into the main topic of creating these revived Amazon PPC campaigns. First things first, we need to dig into the data and find these revived targets. So I have my Amazon PPC dashboard right here and look at them campaign. So I think the first thing to notice is that um, you need to find the campaigns that have been doing poorly in the recent months. So for me, uh, it would be this campaign right here. So you could see like um, if I were to like increase the time scale. So um, let's just increase the time scale to uh, year to date. So you can see sales for this particular campaign has like steadily declined and we would really want to just reverse this steady decline, right? So what we're gonna do, first we're gonna um, analyze the data in a longer time scale. I would normally pick a year to date, but if you have to, you could put a, a lifetime if you don't have enough data in the year to date, for example. So uh, what I would do, go into your um, keywords. So it would be like mostly this one. You see like this one right here, ad group um, had 159 orders. So I think like a lot of these like revived keywords, revived targets would be under this particular ad group. Okay, so I'm still um, under the year to date time scale. And uh, what I would like to do right now, so let's just say like data as I doesn't have any particular um, filters. So I like to uh, filter for keywords and uh, targets that have at least greater than one orders and at an A cost that is acceptable. So for this particular product that I have, that would be 45%. In terms of the acceptable A cost, that would be more uh, subjective, right? So let's just say we're part of profit margin is 40%, then maybe you want to choose 40%. Or if your profit margin is like 30%, you want to choose 30%. Or you just want to be really targeted in this revive campaign. You want to make sure that you don't get too many targets. You can actually lower the A cost to conform to what your objective is in this revive campaign. <laughs> So uh, let's just say less than equal to 45%. Okay, so I get like 25. So 25 for me is like quite a bit. So let's lower it back down to 40% see so what we get. 18, still quite a bit. Let's lower it even further, 35%. So in this revive campaign, I think the key thing is that you don't want too many keywords. Uh, too many keywords in a revive campaign will spread out your budget. If your budget is too spread out, basically you can concentrate on any particular keyword with a dedicated budget. So I like to like just minimize this revive campaign to like maybe um, five to 10 keywords or targets. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna um, export this right here. And uh, the next uh, thing you're, you're gonna do, you're gonna analyze the current data. So the current data, I would look into the last 30 days. So that is my, my most current data. And I would remove the ACOS right here to filter ACOS. And then here I would uh, filter for anything greater than zero. So this is telling me in the last uh, 30 days, these are the keywords that have attributed to a sale. I'm also going to um, export this data set right here. Okay, so now we have the two data sets. One data set being seeing the sales with greater than uh, one orders and uh, under 35% ACOS in a year to date date range. And the other data set, which is current data set, uh, I analyze anything that's greater than zero orders in the last 30 days. And we're gonna do an analysis on the two data sets. Okay, so we're gonna create like two sets of data. So that would be um, year to date data. And then the other spreadsheet would be your current data, which would be like the 30 days. So I'm gonna change it. To and uh, let's import the data that I download. So import, replace current sheet, and then import, there we go. So you can see my 12 keywords and you can see like the A cost, um, at least uh, two orders and also all the A cost would be under 35%. And then I would um, import my current data. 
word the last 30 days um, any keywords I have attributed to like one sale okay so uh, what you need to do now is you're gonna uh, concatenate uh, these two rows so you can actually match the keyword and also the um, match type as well so I'm gonna concatenate the two so I'm gonna match ID um, so what I'm gonna do is concatenate and then concatenate um, this and then uh, this right here and then filter it through um, I'm gonna basically do the same thing for this one right here match ID so now what you're gonna do is just need to find instances where this column does not exist in your last 30 days uh, current data. There's definitely gotta be some matches because the thing is the last 30 day data only have like nine um, targets while the year to date data have 12 targets. So there's at least three, right? We know. Uh, so let's just uh, do like a VLOOKUP. So let's just uh, do a lookup. So it's a very simple VLOOKUP formula. Uh, so basically you're gonna do a VLOOKUP on this particular column right here. Match that with this column one and then false okay so the first one doesn't match there we go so now you are going to go through this out and then you're gonna look for situations that are in a so these particular keywords would be my top candidate for the revive campaign so let's just go ahead and just do just that uh, let's go to um, create a new campaign. So let's just call it uh, the same uh, name. So let's keep the current campaign structure. Uh, so that would be manual. Let's just call it, uh, let's just call it this or whatever name that you think is convenient for you. Uh, I group. And then I'm gonna call this revive. And uh, this is the product I, I'm trying to sell. So we're gonna enter the keywords on our own. So what you can do is like create like a upload file. Um, so let me uh, take you through how the upload file works. So you're gonna download the upload um, the upload template. This is open in Google Sheets, so you can actually see it. Upload. All right, so basically you just need to add the keywords, match type, and a bid. Basically we have like that data like right here. So let's just copy, um, copy the match type here. Um, so what you can do, right? So the, the bid, basically you could use your previous cost per click in your past data as your more or less your benchmark in terms of what you could bid like right now. But what I would like to do to make sure that I would get additional um, impression, right? Because a lot of these keywords, um, the reason why they don't make a sale for you, a lot of times is because you're not bid competitive. So what I would do is that I would increase the value by 15%. So that would be this times 15%. So that's like a preference for me. Yeah, that's it. So I think this file right here would be now be ready to be um, uploaded. Now I think we could do, download a CSV file. So basically, you could, I think you could do both. So let's just uh, download the actual, uh, I think the Excel file. Here we go. So you see my keywords and also the bid and also the match type appears. So I'm going to do a fixed bid. Um, I don't like to do a down only for new campaigns, especially campaigns I'm looking to like get impressions for. So. I would like run this campaign and if I deem that I'm not even getting any impression on fixed bids, I might do uh, up and down uh, because that, that would be a pretty aggressive and also want to increase like the um, placement adjustments too. So initially I would run a fixed bid and also put zero on the um, placement adjustments and then I'll see how it goes, right? See if we actually get clicks, right? And I'm just going to call it revive and then the portfolio, I'll put like whatever the portfolio it is right now. I would do like a $10 budget. I think that's good enough for like the number of keywords that's currently in this campaign. Launch. Okay, so I have the revive campaign set up and these are the keywords that have done well for me in the past. I just want to relaunch them in another campaign to see whether they work for me now. Uh, I definitely for this campaign, uh, I would definitely give it some time. Uh, maybe just like let it sit. You don't want to like over optimize it. Give it time for some clicks and impression. Uh, because the thing is that these keywords have performed for you in the past. You know that it did well and they are proving keywords. And you just want to give them uh, the best opportunity that you could give them for potential additional sales. Okay, so what have what I've shown you is how to revive yourselves after they have declined. 
But the best way to do this is to actually prevent this from happening in the first place. There are two things that you can do to prevent it. And as the doctor would say, preventative health is probably the best medicine. Okay, so uh, I think the key thing for this is that you need to consistently monitor your keywords. For us, we have our own dedicated software, uh, Solar Metrics, that allows us to basically monitor any period over period changes, right? So for example, you have a period over period change for say, keywords, um, cost per click impressions, and also sales, right? Then those are the keywords you want to flag and basically look into it, whether the keyword is over optimized or it currently is taken over by a competitor that has increased the cost per click. And you could decide whether you want to play the upbid game with the competitor or not. So at least that you actually see the particular instances, right? And flag the particular instances where your campaign is losing out sales against a competitor. So I would go to period over period reporting. I would go to keywords and products. So basically this particular screen allows you to um, do analysis from one period to the next, right? So I'm, I'm currently analyzing the data from July 7th to August 6th. And then I'm also analyzing that from um, June 8th to July 7th. So let's just like look into a situation here where we have a lot less order for a particular keyword target on month over month. Here we go. So we can see like these particular um, keywords and targets that have uh, significantly lower sales. So you can see this is like around like 59% bid. So it could be that we have over optimized because that is like a very low bid. So let's look at what was a CPC in the past, right? So CPC in the past is like 84 cents. So if we want to give this an additional chance to kind of get into the previous levels in terms of sales, uh, maybe we could actually change that bid back to the previous cost per click in which we could easily do it with this particular screen and console right here. So I could like change it to previous cost per click. By doing this, we could uh, basically do a quick revive on that particular keyword that is like not doing well for us on a period over period basis. So that's one way that uh, Seller Metrics is able to monitor um, your particular keywords to see whether it's um, losing impression and sales. Uh, the second point uh, for preventing uh, the need for revive campaigns is that don't over optimize, right? If your keyword or your campaign is currently at an acceptable target A cost, you do not need to constantly do daily bid changes. A lot of times Amazon algorithm is actually okay with you just keeping the current bid. And basically if your bid is currently okay for the current sales to A cost function, you really should not um, change the bid too many times or else you run in a chance of really over optimizing for that particular keyword. Another thing that you can do to prevent over optimization is that look at where you're placed in the keyword search compared to your competition. So in my particular case, if I want to say um, this particular keyword, for example, right? I wanna see why I am not doing well for this keyword. I could simply just go to like the Amazon website and do like a search on that particular keyword and see where I'm currently placing. So you can see like I'm not currently placing anywhere. Um, so I'm placing here, but in terms of sponsored products, I'm nowhere to be seen. So I have to make a decision, right? Um, whether I want to like update it and basically be competitive uh, for this particular keyword or not. Currently, I'm not really ranking anywhere. So basically, if I update for this particular keyword, there's chances are uh, I might like show up um, close to the top or at least I would appear at the very least. So those are ways for you to kind of prevent the need to create like uh, revive campaigns from your past data, right? By always consistently monitoring your keyword performance in which we could actually uh, do it quickly with seller metrics, or you could actually just like look into your search term report and do the comparison. But obviously, as you can see with the seller metrics, software is a, a lot uh, easier. So to end this off, uh, this is one of my main initiatives to uplift Amazon PPC campaigns for any down performance. And this is something that I really look into when I perform an audit for my prospective clients that are having performance issues on their Amazon PPC. Again, the best way around this is to have a strong keyword monitoring system so that you can actually flag situations where you are losing impressions and clicks. Here at Seller Metrics, we have a strong system in terms of being able to do just that. Lastly, if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business, schedule a discovery call with me in the link below. We are an Amazon marketing agency that helps our clients grow their business profitably. So until the next video drop, happy selling.